Today I wanted to give you a quick little tip that can save you some time and filament. This video is going to be short and sweet, so let's jump right in. Oh, and before we move on, I wanted to mention this model is from an awesome creator, Delta Prince, over at Maker World. I'll include a link to both the model and his account below. Let's go ahead and add a second color to our filament before we get started. Click the plus button right here, change the color to a goldish tan color, and then click OK. Alright, so the first thing we need to do is open up our painting tools. Highlight your model and click on this button right here, then push the N on the keyboard. Now I wanted to add some artistic flair to this model by making the bottom section a different color, below this inset line here. At first you might think to use the fill bucket. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on the bucket icon here, then click on the lower part of the model. Now that looks great, but we have a problem. If I slice the model, you can see that we're going to have a crazy print time of almost 6 hours, as well as 76 color changes. Now you might be wondering, why is that? Well, if we go ahead and view our slice layers using this widget here on the right and pull it all the way down to the painted section, you will notice that the inside of the model is still black. So what happened was we only painted the outside of the model and the slicer is now changing back and forth between the black and the tan for the outside and the inside. Let's go ahead and go back to the prepare tab. Next, let's erase all the painting by clicking this button here. Let's use the height range tool now. It's located right next to the fill button. Now let's adjust the setting up a bit. Hold down on the control button on your keyboard and use the mouse wheel and change the value to around 5. You will see that our section is now much larger. Now first let's make sure we have the gold color selected and then we can paint with the height range tool. First let me zoom into the model so that I can see the detail better. Now starting from the bottom of the model, click and drag all the way up until you hit the inset section. Now I'm also going to rotate around the bottom to make sure I got the bottom side as well. Awesome, let's go ahead and re-slice our model now. Great, now our print time has been cut in half to 3 hours and now we only have 2 filament changes. Now I'm sure you can agree, this is a much better option. Alright, I hope that you've learned something from this short little tutorial and you can use it to save yourself some time and money in the future. If you could spare a minute to drop me a comment or hit the like button, that would be awesome. Also make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my content. Again, my name is Nick, have a great day, and as always, happy printing.